Hi there. In this video I'm going to be talking about transistor switching circuits with LDRs. So over here I have a battery connector, two components here, a variable resistor at the top and an LDR at the bottom of what is of course a voltage divider. This is a voltmeter and of course the voltmeter is measuring the voltage across the bottom component which of course in this case is the LDR. Now this is a very, very important voltage because of course the voltage across the bottom component in our voltage divider is also the voltage across the base or between the base and the emitter of our NPN transistor. This is the symbol for the NPN transistor and in fact this is it here. When the voltage between the base and the emitter of this transistor is below 0.7 volts in this case, then it's not conducting. But what I'm going to do is actually place my finger over the LDR and the voltage is increasing above 0.7 volts. So if the voltage is above 0.7 volts for this NPN transistor, it actually starts to conduct. And that means that we have a current here. So of course the electrons flowing through the NPN transistor and anything placed in series with it. We have an LED and a resistor. So of course we have a current in this LED here and that's going to make it light. Now, let's see, how did that happen? Well, remember back to voltage dividers 2. If I was to make the LDR dark, of course its resistance increases, and you can see from this, it, the voltage across it increases. Now, do that again. Place the LDR in the dark, its resistance increases, the voltage across the LDR is increasing, and you can see that in this voltage here. And of course, when that voltage increases above a certain value, now that's 0.7 volts in this case, then this transistor is going to conduct. As we said, the voltage between the base and the emitter, if that's above a certain value, this NPN transistor conducts. And of course, we have a current in the LED here, and the LED is going to light. If I take my finger off of the LDR, then of course, what's happening that in the light, the resistance of the LDR decreases, and of course that's caused the voltage across the LDR to decrease. And of course because that's decreased below a certain value, below 0.7 in this case, the transistor is no longer conducting. And because of that, the LED is off. So basically we've built a circuit where, in the dark, this LED is going to be coming on. Now, if I was to switch these two components, then the circuit will do exactly the opposite. So rather than switching on in the dark, it's going to switch on in the light. So if I just adjust the circuit slightly, I'm going to change this voltage again. I'm going to decrease the value of the variable resistor so that the voltage across the bottom component is just below 0.7 volts. In fact, that would do. And as I said, before we had a circuit which would switch on the dark, this one should switch on in the light and I'm just going to test that when I shine this light on the LDR, the LED should be coming on. And in fact, it does do that. So if we explain why this is happening. Now again, this is the important voltage because this voltage across this time, it's across the variable resistor. This voltage, remember, is also the voltage between the base and the emitter, as we said, of this transistor. Now, we do have to still talk about the voltage across the LDR here though, it's now at the top of our voltage divider. Now if I was to place the light towards this LDR, so in the light, remember the resistance of the LDR decreases. If the resistance of the LDR decreases, the voltage across the LDR decreases. And of course that's causing the voltage across the variable resistor to increase. Of course, if the voltage across the variable resistor increases above a certain value, the NPN transistor conducts. And of course, we have a current in this LED, which makes it light. So, despite the fact, of course, we're going to have to talk about the resistance of the LDR, we also have to talk about the voltage across this variable resistor. Because as I said, the voltage across the bottom component is also the voltage across, or voltage between the base and the emitter of the transistor. So if I explain again, in the light, the resistance of the LDR decreases. Of course, the voltage across the LDR decreases. That causes the voltage across the variable resistor to increase. And of course, above a certain value, the transistor is going to conduct. And when it conducts, 
we have a current in this LED which makes it light. So as I said, this is a circuit which switches on the transistor and of course lights this LED when lighting conditions become bright. There we have it. Now in the next video, I'll talk about similar circuits with the thermistor. Thanks for listening.